academia to the table, then it's cool. I'm not saying that that's the prevailing, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 thought or whatever the case may be. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's cool. But with that being said, you know, I want to play this video. I'm going to drop the link and, and I won't, I'm going I'm to let at least Elder Yara get in, if that's cool with you, vocab. Yeah, sure, 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 yeah, yeah. And, 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 because what you're not going to do is, is bombard people and get, get to asking a thousand questions, you know what I'm saying, all of that. We ain't going for none of that. But I'm going to drop the link, but I want to play this video because I want to know, y'all better come in here with sources and y'all better, y'all better show basically what 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 y'all got going on what what false accusations did y'all you guys have and vocab by the way you have your own show right yes i do i do a thing called a smoke room and anybody can call in and skype and talk to me there so this guy with a pink avatar profile without his face though humble one saying i'm food hey you can call in the smoke room anytime on skype it's open you just got to show your face though can't just use your pink avatar so I'm all right with that if he wants to right. do that now or then. It's been open. It's been up. But let me play this video real quick. After we play this video, we'll give you the link. We'll let brothers come in. And, and anybody, you know what I'm saying, that really, you know what I'm saying, got something that they want to say to this brother, they can do it. You got something you want to say to me, you can do it. I like to give Yara a fair chance of first shape. You know what I'm saying? But um, let's go. Let's Let's grab it real quick. And we'll play it. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Facebook. All right. Give me a minute. I'm grabbing it. Right. come with vocab. All right. So that's it right there. So hold on. Hold on. Hey, G Con, you. Paying attention to this Clipper Nuggets game? Uh uh, nah, I ain't checking it out. What's going on with it? Yo, Denver is up 104 to 89. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's over. That's a final. Oh, uh. Yo, Denver beat the Clips. I didn't realize that was a final score already. Well, what is it? What's the what's the what's called out? What's the Denver uh... was down three three games. Denver, you know, nobody expected Denver Nuggets. They didn't know they could beat Utah. They beat the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, they're gonna face the Lakers now on the West Coast. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. man. Who would have thought the Denver Nuggets? Sorry, right. just, since you just, nah, nah, it's all good. That's but, crazy. Okay, so look, I got um, hold on. So let me screen share real quick. Screen share. Okay, this should be it right here. Let me know. I'll let you know if I can hear, but I'm gonna grab something to drink while you play this. All right, let's just see. Once you got it up. Is it up? You see it up? I see it. I see it. Yep. Hold on. Matter of fact, let me make sure. Let me stop real quick. Go back into screen share. Okay. Share computer sound. Share. Okay. You see it? All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me play it. Let me know if and you the, can. And the narrator. I think I'm going to call this line without getting the position. Hold on. Hold on. What you was about to say? I just say I just... the narrator here is Abu Kamar, and he's been dealing with One West since the 90s. And so he know he was familiar with the situation, so he he broke it down, and then I put it on the channel because he did a good job of explaining the situation. All right, cool. So let's 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 pull it up. Let's check it out. Shout out to Apple. Right, what's up? Is it permission from a black man, from an Hispanic man? He ain't gonna be able to get his water without getting. Permission I saw this uh, Facebook post from Dante Fortson, which read as follows. Eric Mason, why didn't you call out Cab Malone for writing a slavery parody, a quote-unquote whole song, as he says out of his own mouth, and then asking a black man to sing it for his amusement? Didn't your book mention confronting racism? Let's see you confront that racism within your own organization, or at least tell us what you personally find funny and Christ-like about slavery. You are being held accountable. And at the end of that post, he shared this video from March of 2018, titled Vocab Malone and Jay the Producer Think Slavery is Funny. That's a rather heavy charge, and uh, therefore I'd like to show a relevant excerpt from the video which he shared. All right now, go. but check it out. I wrote a parody to something, bro. I think that this this thing's hilarious. I'm going to see if, if you're down to do it, and I'm going to make a video out of this joint. You know that song by Miley Cyrus, Party in the USA? 
Yeah. Yo, slavery in the USA, bro. Uh, slavery in the USA, bro. Uh, slavery in the USA, bro. Oh man. I got a whole, I got a whole <laughs> song, man. And I can't yeah, see about that one off Dante Fortson, among others, assumed that in that clip, Vocab Malone was mocking the history of slavery, which had happened in the United States. And on a certain level, I can understand how one might reach that conclusion when looking at that clip in a vacuum. However, I have some personal insight into this as I know the story behind what Vocab was referring to precisely because around that time in early 2018, he had uh, discussed his idea about the parody with different people. And it turns out that he was not referring to the slavery which had already happened in the United States from the 17th to 19th centuries. Rather, he was referring to a hypothetical or fantasized future slavery which exists within the eschatology of certain One West groups. You see, Vocab Malone, uh, among other Christian apologists who deal with Israelites, has often been told by certain One Westers that in the future he's going to be their slave. And it's that, that sort of future One Wester, UPK, or uh, eschatological slavery in America that he was talking about writing a parody of. This is why I want white people in the kingdom. This is why I want Africans in the kingdom. Because I'm not picking no grapes, and we're going to take y'all as captive. One would understand what vocab was actually referring to if they saw the actual parody video, which came out a few months later in the summer of 2018. So I'd like to play a, a relevant clip from that video. I would hope that it's obvious from that clip what sort of slavery in America he was talking about writing a parody of. He was writing a parody of the sort of slavery which certain One West groups fantasize about. And uh, you may notice that he himself, or a depiction or caricature of himself, appeared in the sort of uh, cartoon of that video where he's depicted as a slave of one of the members of one of these One West groups. However, uh, Dante Fortson was not impressed when this was presented to him, and he argued that it what the way it turned out in the video was sort of a cleaned up version you know that he uh, sort of diverged from what his original idea was in short Dante Fortson is assuming the worst he's assuming still that vocab must have been initially intended to mock the actual history of slavery in the United States which took place prior to the 20th century and not that he intended to uh, refer to the sort of uh, imaginary future slavery that certain uh, groups uh, hope for and dream of. Honorable for me to want to put you in your place and make my coffee, as you said. Right. You're going to be happy to make my coffee because you're going to want to live. God wants you in chains. Triumphalism. Therefore, I'd like to turn to an old post in Vocab's own Facebook forum. So I'm going to hit the search key here, and I'm going to type in Cab Malone, which is Vocab's handle on Facebook, and I'm also going to put slavery and parody. And we'll do a search for these terms within his Facebook forum. So the post that I want to go to is this one also from March of 2018. Uh, so I'll zoom in on the date here so you can see this. Notice it's March 24th of 2018. It was right around the same time. It's actually before the video that Dante Fortson appealed to. So Vocab there wrote, ISUPK hypocrisy alert. They claim the title of my upcoming parody video should have been Slavery in the Kingdom of Heaven because their doctrine is not about slavery in America. Well, here's a UPK false teacher at camp yelling, quote, slavery is coming to America, end quote. Oops, UPK messed up yet again. Don't worry, though. Now I'm going to change the song title to Slavery in the UPK, parody of Party in the USA, instead. So to recap, regarding vocab talking about writing a parody titled Slavery in the USA, there are two possibilities. The first is that what I propose, which is that he was referring to the future slavery of UPK eschatology. 
The other possibility is what Dante Fortson and others assume is that he was referring to the slavery, slavery which had actually already happened in the United States prior to the 20th century. So here are the reasons at the top of your screen to think that vocab meant the future slavery of UPK eschatology. Number one, there's my own personal insight. I actually spoke to him about this subject in early 2018, so I know what he intended. But if you don't trust my word on that, a second reason is the actual parody video itself. There are depictions of slavery in that video, and they are the sort of slavery that exists within the fantasies of certain one Westers, uh, a future slavery that, that is part of their eschatology in which people like Vocab alone are their slaves. Uh, and then third, there's the explanation that vocab, vocab gave back then in March of 2018, which we just looked at in an old post in his Facebook forum. So conversely, what are the reasons to think uh, uh, that the other possibility is the case, that Vocab was actually talking about mocking, mocking saving America that existed prior to the 20th century? Well, honestly, it seems all there is are less than charitable uh, assumptions. And that's why I said that a trend that I see in these bitter disagreements between uh, Christian apologists and the um, what are called the moderate Hebrew Israelites, uh, a trend that I see is uh, assuming the worst. You know, uh, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Dr. but I think he didn't have any particular insight. Neither he nor other people who, who took this approach had any particular insight into Vocab's mindset. But they immediately opted for assuming the worst. But really, if one takes their time to look at what Vocab meant, they can see that he did not mean what they assumed he meant. <laughs> At the end, it sounded pretty uh, choppy. Uh, it's on your end, or what's going on? But yeah. yeah. Here, I'll I'll text you until you hear me. Can hear it. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Phil Fox. Yeah, I can hear you. Shout out to Warrior okay. Woman. I'm sorry, was the video chopping? Did, could you hear the video? I could hear the whole thing. It was at the very end I started doing it. So it wasn't until the end. Shout out to uh, Mikael Ben Israel. I see you. Shout out to a uh, G Checker. <laughs> Yeah, my uh, say let me hear you say something. Yeah, what's up, man? All right, cool, you cool. Yeah, it's been like when I, when I do that, uh, what you call it? It doesn't work. Hey, check the right, check so, so, so. message. I'll tell you there. I, I hear a little bit of feedback too. Okay. Uh, I don't know how everybody. How do I sound? How does Gcon sound? Hey, what's up, Nate? How you doing, bro? Hey, Judah. <laughs> you know, Judah and Natsara, I consider you somewhat crazy, but I've never personally disliked you. I wish we could uh, have a conversation one day for real. It could be interesting. Yeah, they can hear me, bro. You want to try? You want to try? G -Con? I don't know. General. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come in and come back out. All right, well, you want me to uh Let me make you the host? All right, bro, whatever you need to do. I'm here for you. Yeah, your connection is a little tough. 
Hey, what's up, Book Chapter Verse? I've seen you around. Defenders of the way. Well, let me answer some questions since G-Con is having connection issues. I don't know how to bring people on on his system, but I do know how to answer questions in the live chat. A vocab parodies are racist, hence why YouTube demonetizes channel. There's no excuse or explanation for such foolishness, Defenders of the Way says. Well, um, Defenders of the Way, could you explain to me, are you saying all parodies are racist, or are you just saying my parodies are racist would be one thing I'd want to know. And uh, if you're saying the ones I'm involved with, I'm sure that you noticed that multiple kinds of people have been involved with all my parodies uh i could imagine you say that doesn't mean nothing whatever whatever that's fine but the point is they don't they don't think so merely pointing fun at something especially if it's in the realm of ideas you know as we've done with these things that doesn't equal racism you know what i mean merely using humor to discuss ideas doesn't equal racism. Uh, if it does, I don't see how you could uh, be okay with really any comedy. You know what I mean? Uh, as far as demonetization, it kind of works out because then the Hebrews delights can't say, you know, I'm profiting on YouTube off their stuff. They'll still say it, but it kind of works out nonetheless because no, I'm not profiting. There's demonetization. The reason though was had to do with Islam. And as you well know, defenders of the way, Islam is not a race of people. It's a set of ideas. Uh, atheist Sam Harris said one thing that I agreed with there. One time he said Islam is the mother load of bad ideas. He might have been right about that. And so the ideas are what we're going after there. Uh, but that's fine if you feel differently. Humor is inherently subjective. Now, everything I do is not just parodies. That's not all we do. That's what sometimes gets people's attention. And, uh, you know, it's part of uh, kind of the uh, the bag, you know, the bag that you got. But whatever. No sound. No sound. No, I, I got plenty of sound. I just heard myself. I got sound. Lay eye, maybe you don't have sound. Outside the Cube says, so you agree with Sam Harris as long as he isn't talking about your religion, Four Horsemen? <laughs> uh, the, well, it's like this, Outside the Cube. Um, out of the Four Horsemen, Harris is someone who I would agree with on certain points on the most. And Hitchens is the one that I um, enjoyed the most because of his rhetorical skill. I've never, you know, I don't, I don't hate atheists. You know, they're a people group who needs to be reached with the gospel. And uh, I like atheists, especially who are well-informed. You know what I mean? And so, uh, oh, okay. Oh, I got to bring you back in. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't understand that. I'm doing it. My bad. Okay. My bad. My bad. I, I saw, okay. Okay, I did it now, I think. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't realize what was going on. All right, so you got a uh, solo mine and bring solo mine in here too. You got him in here too with the attendees. Okay. Okay, there you go. It is done. All right, cool. But outside the cube, uh, there's, you know, uh, sometimes atheists say things that are, you know, proper and right. And so, uh, well, outside the cube, I've heard your gospel wasn't impressed, still an atheist. <laughs> well, hey, outside of a miracle, uh, upon upon your heart and my heart, that's all of us. You know what I mean? It takes a supernatural miracle is what is what Christianity teaches. It's not merely a, a physical thing. You know what I mean? And so I understand. You know, I would have I would have been there too, except for the work of the Holy Spirit. But I'd be willing to talk to you about it sometime, uh, because really I think atheism falls apart. It's an internally consistent worldview, and all it takes is a little bit of prodding to show that it's internally incoherent all right but uh what's up gcon you're back so it's your thing not mine i was just trying to all right cool cool well you still the host because for some reason my stuff is, is messed up uh what up solomon i see you in the building what's going on here I, 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 I can make you i can change it no nah, i don't i don't uh don't change it because i need i'm gonna come back in on, on my other account and um i'm having my my internet ain't doing too good right now i don't know why but go ahead, uh, uh, Solomon. You need to drive some more trucks, bro. Get some better internet. 
Nah, I'm at the house and I have something. Oh, yeah, pro- yeah, probably need to be in the truck. Stop buying J's. Maybe you get some better. <laughs> right. <laughs> what up, Solo? Yeah, what's going on? What's going on, uh, guys? Um, I don't really know Vocab Malone. Malone. I heard about him. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm just like, you know, just uh, seeing what's up with him and what's his whole uh, purpose. I, I, I'm really still not understanding totally what the beef is about. So you're, you're like in, um, like, yeah, just kind of like talk a little bit about yourself and what is, you know, your purpose? Like, what are you doing? Like, I, I, I don't know what they're mad about. Like, what, what are the people mad about that you do? Well, I think this particular conversation came about solo mine because uh, G-Con was posting some stuff that had nothing to do with me. I, I, I forget exactly what he's talking about on Facebook, but a number of the guys came in and started commenting underneath and started talking about me, but they were trying to like diss G-Con in the process. Basically, well, why do you hang out with a white supremacist? That kind of stuff is what they're saying. Kind of out of nowhere. Was, was so, so why do they call you a white supremacist? Uh, my My understand it's like this if you're not considered black by the hebrew israelites then that's what they've got for you you're a racist or a supremacist if you are black or brown then they call you a sellout such as the n word or if you're native american they call you uncle tomahawk or if you're mexican they call you mexicum these are all terms these guys use so my point by saying that is the one Westers automatically label anybody who stands in opposition to their ideas in some kind of way of a racial category. You're either self-hating or you hate them. So, oh, so my, okay. I would so say I would say it's mainly a product of the way their religion has taught them to respond to criticism. So so you're like um a guy that speaks against Israelites? I'm an outspoken critic of the bad ideas within Hebrew Israelism. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I okay, now okay. Yeah. So what is your beef? Why, why did you feel as though you wanted to talk about the Israelites? Well, my main focus before that in apologetics was Islam. So I was dealing with Salafi Islam, which is a, a very serious global reality, you know? And I didn't ever think I was going to leave making that a primary area of study. What happened is, though, I kept on getting calls and requests in relationship to Hebrew Israelite stuff. But at that point in time, this is going back past a decade. I was like, well, I'm not really running into these guys at that level. You know, I mean, I've heard the the Jizza song or whatever, but I'm not running into them like that. Well, then I started running into them. And then I was like, okay, um, let me see what the resources are on this so other people can get these resources. I started poking around the internet, Solomon. There's hardly any resources to deal with these guys and their ideas. So I was kind of like, well, let me deal with it until somebody else pops up. You know what I mean? I I thought it would kind of be a temporary thing. Well, it was a much bigger issue than I thought. And so basically, uh, I just kind of ended up in this situation because of running into these guys on the blocks and uh, seeing what they were saying and seeing that a lot of people didn't really want to deal with their ideas, but basically I was willing to. That's my view of it anyway. They might tell you something different. That that's my view of the situation. So you became you you became a sort of an an, an antagonist of the Israelites. They would say that, but I don't hate anybody because you know the, uh, some of these guys they hate you based upon you know some ras- racial classification. I don't feel that way. All right, so do you speak against I, the Israelites? Uh, what yeah, do you yeah, disagree? Do you believe that the, their ideas? Okay, See, so saying, do you I believe hate, that I hate a lot of their ideas? I'll say that. Okay, so do you believe that the blacks are the Israelites? Well, we got to start defining stuff. Who are the blacks? Is this global? Is this in America? You see what I'm no, saying? No, we're These talking guys? about the people who to classify themselves as Israelites that speak to you. Do you yeah, think that they're Israelites? That's the thing. It's it's never clear what they mean when they say we. Some people include people in Latin America. Other people include people I'm in I'm asking Ghana. you a question, though. Do you believe that those blacks that attack you, like Mikhail, right, right, the right, other right. brothers in the chat, do you believe that they're Israelites? They're, they're Judaizers. I'm going to say something a little slick here. They're Judaizers, but they're not Israelites. Okay. Okay. So that may be the foundation of why they, they beef with you. Do you speak? Um, and and um, some of your rhetoric, is it centered around proving that they're not Israelites? 
my rhetoric, uh, as far as, you know, what I try to focus on, I try to more focus on issues relating to salvation and issues relating to the bigger picture. They, though, often, again and again and again, want to focus on their identity. And so I, I have to be there with them. What I'm saying is it's much more important, Solomon, to a Christian, how a person is made right in the sight of God. But when I want to discuss that, they want to discuss, can Gentiles be saved? I want to discuss the nature of the Trinity, the Trinitarian nature of God. They want to discuss, can Gentiles be saved? I, you see what I'm saying? I want to discuss, yeah. is Jesus Christ truly so you, God? Do you believe that they're like a hate group or something? I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the angle. I don't use that kind of terminology. I feel that... Um, that do you think of, some of their rhetoric is hate speech? I don't like these terms, man. That's a lot of... so. I, do they say hateful things? Yes. I mean, some of them actually say, we hate you. I mean, some of those guys literally say that. And if you ask them why, they'll be like, well, look, it's in Roman design, even though it's a misinterpretation. So they'll say it's okay. So some of them guys literally will say that. But I don't like this language of hate group because I know the way the world uses it. They'll use it right back against us because of our stance on issues like homosexuality and other issues. They'll do the same thing to a Christian. So, so what are you now? You're a Christian now. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My interest is only because I'm a Christian. This is not trivial or a game. So, so um, you're saying, so you're saying this that is a you serious a, issue. You're saying me. that you was a Muslim. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, brother. I, I must have not been clear. Please forgive me. I was saying as a Christian who is interested in apologetics, defending the faith of Christianity, my primary area of study prior to Hebrew Israelites, the main thing I was dealing with was a certain type of Islam. Oh, I was so never you was a Muslim okay. myself. I was okay. dealing primarily with, with Muslims uh, and, and speaking to them outside the mosque, speaking to them in the markets, things like that. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I see. Okay, so... Like, what, what, uh, what are you guys saying? I, somebody's trying to say I didn't answer a question. What question did I not answer? So, Lamont, that if you feel I didn't answer any question, ask me again, and I'll say it more clear if, if I didn't answer a question. Well... Yeah, he's saying I didn't answer a question. Well, I'm still trying to figure out, like, what is the beef about? So that's why I'm kind of probing... I'm just trying okay. to figure out, like, what do you do that they don't like? And I, I, I don't think that, um, I mean. Well, it, it, okay. A few things. One is I deny the, um, the primacy that they give to their identity doctrine. What I mean is they want to make this claim about who they are uh, as this, if it's, it's the, the most important thing. It's the golden goose, you know what I mean, with the golden eggs. I deny, even if it was true, the importance or relevance to that fact. They don't like that because they feel like they've all won a lottery ticket. They think they're Hebrew Israelites. So to them, they don't like the denial of, the, of, the, of that primacy. But that's simply a biblical position that I have there. They just don't like it. That's what one thing. The, the other thing of, is that... So, what would what? be the purpose of um, even bringing that out? I mean, what would be the purpose? Right. The, the, the reason to bring that out is to make sure that the message of the gospel is front and center. And the message of the gospel is not about who your dad is. The message of the gospel is about being in Christ. And so these guys claim to hold open the Bible and say what it's saying. That's what they claim. But yet they pervert the message. They might as well be holding the Bible upside down. And so what I'm saying is you're holding up a Bible with this message that's not from the Bible. So to me, that's a misrepresentation that's serious because then people hear you with the authority of scripture saying falsehoods. That's a problem. So, so what do they say that's false? Well, all kinds of things. If we're talking about one Westers, they teach that if you're not of the right lineage, according to them, which is, by the way, based upon a chart that a guy got in various, very dubious circumstances, the history is all there. They say if you're not on the chart, you are excluded. You cannot be saved. You cannot be a co-heir with Christ. You cannot be equal in the kingdom of God in the future. So it's, it's a, a, a race-based caste system that they have when they talk about gospel, which is not the gospel. So that's a so major do you, thing. Do you believe that it's a chosen people according to the Bible? The chosen people, Solomon. Now, G. Khan and I might have some disagreement on how we would say this. The chosen people, in my understanding of theology, are those whom God elects for salvation. And that is from every nation, tribe, and tongue. And I know we'll agree on that part. 
So the chosen people are those that God chooses for salvation, and it's not based upon who their dad was. By the way, which none of these Hebrew Israelites can prove. What I mean when I say that is they cannot go back on their father's side all the way back to 1405 B.C. That's how far that we need to go back to prove they're from the seed of Jacob. Around 1405 B.C., none of them can do that. And they're out here with charts and talk about I'm going here and you're going there. And none of them can show they go back to Jacob of 1405, let alone which individual son. Forget about that. And these dudes saying out there with confidence, it's a shell game. It's a con game. And so what I'm saying is it's ridiculous the claims they make. And then they stand upon that weak foundation and then say, because of me being a descendant of Jacob, here's my position in God's eyes. And here's your position in God's eyes. That's why I made a parody about their doctrine of people going to serve them in the kingdom for all eternity, bringing them coffee and water. You know what does Ariok said to me, so the mind, he said, I'm glad there's going to be Africans in the kingdom vocab because I'm not picking my own grapes. So you, um, so do you believe like, you know, like the doctrine far as what, because that's, that's like a permanent, you know, understanding from what I know of, uh, the Jewish faith, they believe that they're the chosen people, whether it's the black Jews, whether it's the white Jews or Sephardic, Ashkenazi, they, they have this, um, idea that they are the chosen people. Well, um, because of God's historic working. I mean, do, do, you, do you, I'm asking, do you understand that that is the case with all Jews, whether they're white, black, you know? No, because- So you're saying was, that the, the Ashkenazis don't think that they're the chosen people? Oh, um, uh, religious Ashkenazi Jews may certainly think that, but they're, if they're not in Christ, they're cast off. Who their father is is totally irrelevant for their position before God. And that's exactly what the Bible talks no, about. The, the, that's the why purpose Jesus that, said, it's, the that's the why Jesus said, you may be sons of Abraham, but I'll the give reason, these stones. The reason why I'm bringing that up is because you have white people that believe the same thing. You have white Jews that believe the same thing. You have Sephardic Jews that believe the same thing. So why are you focusing in on the black Jews that believe that? Uh, why would maybe. that be a why would that be offensive to you as opposed to other Jews? I never that, seen that the Sephardic as I the never same seen, type of right. I never seen a Sephardic Jew on 19th Avenue in Camelback. I never seen an Ashkenazi Jew out there with a sign on 19th Avenue in Dunlap or Central in Washington. Is that the worst? What, is that the worst of your problems, bro? No, but it's in. A, I'm saying that as a way to summarize the problem. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying that as a way to sum. I see. I see Ashkenazi Jews, Jews controlling policy. By and large, they do those, bigger shit to affect people's lives. That's when that's the point I'm making. Solomon, you recognize most Ashkenazi Jews don't even believe in the New Testament. So they they're only holding the old covenant in the first place. They're they're not even claiming that Jesus is the Christ in the first place. The, a lot of the Hebrew Israelites do. So there's a more I'm just trying to figure out what your motivation. That's all. Like, you know, what I'm saying why why focus on, on the black Israelites when everybody else is doing the same thing? Well, they're not doing the same thing, Solomon. They're not doing the same thing, brother. I mean, I mean, I mean, in a sense, like they believe that they're the chosen people and they're operating on the fact that they're the chosen people. Well, OK, so check this out. If you if you really get into I mean, now, like you got you got, for example, the, the state of Israel. That's yeah. that's which all is that largely, is which is largely secular. And, and, and them pushing, you know, uh, the Muslims to the Gaza Strip and all that shit. It's kind of like a political religious thing, bro. Okay, I mean, we're totally, I mean, I'll, I'll go with you there if you want to discuss it, that's fine. But no, I'm just saying from the standpoint of like, you know, it's, it's actually people that's doing more effective things that, you know, I'm just trying to, once again, I'm probing because I really don't know you. I don't really know what, what is your intentions and what. Yeah, that, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind at all. The uh, state of Israel is largely a secular state. So the, I, the, the issues there are, are geopolitical. Uh, not really religious. The ho most hardcore religious Jews in the state of Israel don't even support the state of Israel because they believe it's an apostasy. So I understand what you're saying, but the state of Israel is not filled really with a lot of faithful religious Jews, really. It's just not the case. I know, yeah, but from the standpoint of them classifying themselves as Jews to even get into the land. Yeah, they so they have something called the right of return, and, right. So, uh, what is the right of return predicated around? Well, remember, Judaism has always taught you could be a convert, so they allow converts as well if the certain conditions are met. 
For example, that's, I think, I'm just saying that that's why I kind of said that it was like a, a religious aspect to that. Right. But but see, Judaism has allowed conversion from Gentiles. All you got to do is look at the rabbinical literature and see that. In fact, some of uh, Judaism's biggest scholars of the medieval era era were converts. So they've always allowed converts from other nations. You know what I'm saying? And you, you can see the rabbinical literature. Now, it's true. If you go through the rabbin rabbinical literature, Solomon, you'll see some examples of rabbinical opinions that are a lot more ethnocentric, that would sound a little more Hebrew Israelitish. You will find a rabbi here or there talking about the other nations are going to serve us, and we're not so sure if Gentiles can be saved. But sort of the, the mainstream of rabbinical opinion. Now, I don't view any of that as authoritative. I'm just telling you sort of the history of the state of, of, of actual Hebraic thought. You know what I'm saying? And so you look at that, the rod of return is not merely like a lineage thing. It could be based upon other factors. And I think one example you can see that is what they did for Beta Israel, you know, saying Operation, I think it's called Moses or Exodus, whatever it was called, where they airlifted, you know what I'm saying, dozens. Yeah, I think yeah, I, yeah of, I heard about Ethiopians. that. It was the Ethiopia. Yeah, Ethiopians, things uh, like that. Yeah, and so, and, um, but the majority is um, Russian Ashkenazi Jews. Uh, Israel, my understanding of the because I look at this because I hear that claim, my understanding is about 60% of modern day Israel would be Eastern European derived. And what I mean by that is Ashkenazi. You're talking about the Russians, things like that. Yeah, yeah. The other, the other, the other percentage is not, is not. And all you got to do is if anybody wants to see, like, uh, the best well, way got, to see this Spanish is to look Jews, at, like, look at know, the IDF. I mean, it's, it's a mix, of, but I know the beta Israel is like, you know, the overwhelming minority. And I and I hear that they get oppressed there too, second class citizenship well, there as well. Well, uh, you know, but uh, I'm, I mean, I mean, it's kind of beside the point. The reason why I brought that up was, you know, predicated around um, me trying to understand what would be your motivation, even to focus in on Israelites. Like yeah, brother, to begin with. I, I don't live in Israel. You know what I'm saying? I don't know any Sephardic Jews. Their claims in many ways are really irrelevant to what I see. Here's what I do see. My friends that I've known for years talking about, hey, I don't think so-and-so can get into the kingdom because their dad is Irish. And hey, let's read this apocalypse. So that, that, that's, a, that's a problem for you. The problem hey, that, the, that's, a, the, that's not the only a problem. The gospel. It's I mean, I mean, I mean, like that's a problem for you to do all what you're doing. Right. That that, that hold on, Solomon. So I, I want to ask that. I want to get in on this because that's a problem for me too. Because I'm looking at people that's in my church right now, that's listening to these guys out on the corners and leaving the church behind this BS. You know what I'm saying? And actually thinking that's what they is. All right. So if they decide they want to go, they let, let them go. Like I mean, you well, know, Solomon, you know you, you're you know not a Christian though. You know, you know what you know what happens after that they begin to attack people that are in the church and so when they're now, i'm just saying from the standpoint like you know i i question his motive right like so why, why, why is he focusing on a black israelites so what i'm saying is this is listen they're not all black you, bro that's the thing you're being, in, in light of uh you know in light of um okay you motherfuckers created their philosophy and let's say that there's some shit that they want to do why are you worried about what the fuck they doing Solomon, if you, uh, you know, look at the history of the Christian church, there's always been detractors and people who come with contrary and ideas. And the Christian church has always put forth apologists, scholars, intellectuals. I mean, there's a lot of people doing a lot of shit, though. To, I mean, to, I to mean... combat those bad ideas. So we are simply doing something in the realm of ideas that has been done ever since we've been around because we believe in going toe to toe in the realm of ideas. You're saying don't care, but Solomon, we believe that these men and women who leave outside, if they embrace a false gospel, their eternity is at stake. So you may not believe that. No, I'm just saying, we like, do. I we mean, this, this, is people, I'm, this is why I'm saying it. No, this is why I'm saying it. Israelites are really like a minority when it comes to, you know, a particular faith group. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure, like, the nation of Islam may be even in its deterioration is like i got the maybe, numbers bro i got the numbers you know, um may still may be uh bigger than let's say um other faiths like muslims you know what i'm saying well wait, wait, you're saying the noi is bigger than muslims in america no no i'm just saying muslims and no no not the noi bigger than muslims in america i'm just saying like is it like muslims you know they they are i believe outside of atheism is probably the fastest growing religion for what last what i heard Nah, Islam, like, Islam's so 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 what what would motivate you to focus in on 
black Israelites. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's this not, is like these, a, a these guys group. are. It's not a black thing. You know, the twelve tribes charts got everybody on there. Okay, well, you know, you know what I'm saying. I mean, just for classification purposes, because yeah, obviously, so-called Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, right, the right. short version is this: I got a stack of books dealing with Islam. Got a stack of books dealing with Mormonism. Got stack. You go down the list. There's no stack of books dealing with Hebrew Israelites. My point is the answers and the responses have not been brought out by the Christian apologetics community. The pioneering work of dealing with these bad ideas has to be done. And so whoever's willing to do it, let's lock arms and join up. And that's why me and Gene kind of. Well, mine, you, the thing is, a lot of the conscious community doesn't do a very good job of dealing with Hebrew Israelites because they don't they, hold to they the Bible. Do. I know it's like a lot Israelites, of people out here that so does a good do. job talking about we black do. Israelites. So we're in a much better position. I have somebody on my channel that does a good job of talking about black Israelites. We don't know. Right. And that person on your black channel Israelites. that talks about black Hebrew Israelites is in the chat room right now saying, hey, hey, Khan, why do you need him? Why do you need him? What was the purpose of? Listen, listen. That person, Solomon, who you talking about in the chat room right now is saying that uh vocab is right and that's the next four okay okay so okay so that means we don't need this motherfucker right so guess what evidently he he said he's big up in vocab so okay yeah, yeah he yeah hey, so that means we don't hey, need this motherfucker hey so voc uh, so hold on so he does it way better than vocab so my, let me let me read so my, you don't know who i am so how would you know you're speaking out no, of I'm, I'm i'm talking to you right now yeah hey, so, so how do you me... know i do it better you don't even know who I am. No, I'm saying that I, I'm saying that Lex does a way better job than you. I'm talking to you right now. Well, uh, well, hold on. Let me you do something. Know what I was. You make it hold on, so Solomon, if you want me to, are you an atheist? No, I'm not an atheist. What are, What are you? What's your position? I, don't worry about it. Oh, you so staying on your square, bro. No, I, I'm standing on my square. I don't. What's I don't your feel square? As though I, have to, I, I don't feel as though I have to answer anything to you. Oh, uh, so you a man who's not willing to take a stand on no, no truth? I'm not to you. Oh, okay. Well then, uh, yeah, because I mean, this it ain't none of your business, bro. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's none I of mean, your business. Why, like, like, why do that, you feel as though? No, no. Why do you? Why, I'm saying, why do you feel as though? This is my point. This is my point. Why do you deal with Israel? Go, go and deal with your debate. own shit, bro. This is what I'm saying. Go and deal with your own shit. Don't be coming over here talking about black people can't be fucking Israelites. They be what the fuck they want to be. You go and talk to the motherfucking asking nasty Jews that's fucking the planet up before you come over here with your bullshit, bro. You can be whatever you want to be. Okay, yeah, you could be whatever you want to be over there, bro. Okay, then Rachel Dozo's black, according to you. Yeah, no, I'm, I, what you bringing that shit up for? That shit because I'm saying you can't just be, you can't ma imagine your like, 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 identity. You're sitting up here like, imagine their like, identity. Sitting up here feeling, in a you, you're sitting up here feeling as though you have like the authorization to come and talk about what a motherfucker should be in light of all what's going on around the world. You want to tell me what to do? with your own shit, bro. You the one telling me what to do, like, though. You're, you're entitled hey, to, to hey, talk hey, about hey, what the fuck you believe. Hey, so. This is coming from a man who won't even admit his worldview perspective, though. Yeah, I, I, I say it to I say it to hey. everybody every day. G kind what, of what authority do you have, though? You don't. Hey, so. What authority I, I'm do you not have? Telling you wait, wait, shit, wait, wait, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do this real quick. Let me say this. Yeah, like, right. like, like. No, 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 G Kai, because he's a fucking snake, bro. Nah, nah, nah. No, yeah, bro. no, 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 bro. Listen, listen to me, G Kai. Low. No, listen to me, bro. No, listen to me, bro. Bro, look, no. bro, bro. Sit on some real shit. I already knew. I, I gave him an opportunity. He's doing that white man snake shit, bro. He he's he's attacking black Israelites 
because they're black Israelites. Nah, bro. bro. Yes, nah. he is, bro. And hey, he's listen, trying to bro. hide that shit, bro. Hold on, hold on, bro. Listen, he, listen. he never gave me a clear listen. answer, bro. He hold never on, gave me a straight, Solomon, clear answer. With all due respect, what, what, what he with all due respect. Hold on, hold on. So let me say this real quick before you do that. Let me say this. I, I gotta say this. I Look. gave him an opportunity to give me a straight answer. He hold didn't. on, hold on. Listen, listen, bro. Listen, Solar, Solar. Listen, bro. Look clearly, bro. Look. Let me read something to you. And everybody gonna hate this. You don't gotta like it, but this is you right here, bro. It says, "They hate the rebuke in the gate, and they abhor him that speak of uprightly, bro." Ever since I've known you, bro, you hate truth, bro. I don't care who it. It could be right. You hate it, bro. You get on here, and just because it ain't coming from a black man, you hate it. But guess no, what? No, 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 no. That's, not, that's, that's why not he's afraid to admit what he you is. It, bro. That's you not what it, I'm bro. saying. No, no. I, I gave him, I asked him a series of questions to see where he was at. That's that's what the purpose I was. I was asking him a series of questions where he at. He never gave a straight answer why he's spoken on Israelites. He still yes, didn't he did. give a straight answer. Brother, you know, so that means you, wait, wait. Listen, that means that he's hiding something, bro. Listen, bro, listen. This is exactly what he said. I heard it clearly. He goes down the street. He got friends. Come on, bro. Hold on, listen, on, listen, bro. bro. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on, wait. So, so you mean to tell me that you just walk down the street? Yeah. You got some friends that dealt with some Israelites. So you go all out for like three years talking about Israelites because of that one, one situation. Not nah, four. Four situations. No, no, four years. It wasn't one situation. Like, 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 like come on, bro. Come Solomon, on, bro. you that, you're missing that a lot like of what I said. That's a bullshit story, right there. Hey, Solomon, 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 like, like, that's fine. He's, he's you, your listening real, skills are not the greatest, real, bro. Hey, Solomon, you you, 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 you thought I'm saying that's I was a Muslim, hey, but and you're talking to a person that's not an Israelite. Hey, so I don't know. Listen, Solomon, no one knows what you are though, because you're afraid to to stand on your square. You know. Like, like, bro, bro, I ain't gotta stand on my square for your ass, bro. All right, so, so what? Like, what, like, a, like, what, what, what? What would be the part? I'm trying to figure truth. out what you doing, bro. Why are right. you here talking about black Israelites? Why do you give a fuck about people that's black that wants to be Israelites? Why is that a pro Why is that a problem for you? Since since all the other answers, even though they were clear, were not clear to you because I care about truth. That's so the if answer. you care about truth, care about like truth. I said, if you care about truth, why don't you clean up your own shit first before you come well, over? What here? is my own? What is what is that? Your people, bro. What, who's my people, bro? White people, bro. So all white people are my people? Yes, they're they're your the people. The Latvians in Eastern Europe, those are my people? It, yes. I don't I don't people. I don't look at they're, those yes, as my they're people. your people, bro. I, just because you right. tell me you know why the world no 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 I don't say it, the world says that. Hey, well listen, I don't know. No, 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 be quiet. I don't care what the world says. Because no, no, he because he's trying to apply some shit to me like I created the rules. But the world says that shit, bro. What you doing here? So if you if you're gonna sit up there, if you're gonna sit up there and talk about what Black people are doing when they don't affect your life right. in any way, shape, or form. Maybe how about you, you deal it. with? How about you deal with shit that affects the people, um, people in general, the people that have power to do? Sh hey, listen. Where'd he go? I kicked Sola out of here. Off his own panel. Off his own panel. Listen, and he can delete this. Oh, he's gonna hey, delete Sola, this. You ain't did nothing but came up here with some silly stuff and looked silly. You might want to take this video down, bro, because you're looking real silly and bad out here right now, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? The brother gave you a clear answer. You came up here talking silly, so you got put off, bro. And you could take this down, do whatever you want to do. But like I say, bro, you brothers ain't moving or really doing nothing like y'all should be doing, and you hate truth, bro. And if anybody got a problem with that, bro, you can see me or, or see me in whatever you want to do, bro. But you brothers is bringing all types of foolishness out here and you hate truth, bro. That's it, man. Y'all hate truth. You don't want to hear it, whatever color it come from. And then you wonder why we see that we in positions that we in because you hate truth, bro. So stop talking silly. And I hope you was just playing. You had to be just playing because you told me I could bring this brother on. And when I brought him on, you come on here do, doing all this old goofy, silly stuff. But that's goofy, man. Like, what is you on, bro? Like, I I'll tell you what happened, G-Con. Right. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what happened. He was chilling, watching the game, eating some SpaghettiOs, and his phone started blowing up. They started putting pressure on him, talking about, what, you know what's going on on your channel? Why are you letting this guy on there? And he caved to the peer pressure, and he had to come on and do a show. That's not, I guarantee you that's what happened. That's what that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Right, man. Hate right. to the pressure. So he he was nobody was trying to listen to truth. 
he was just seeing all these text messages concerned about that came on like that. But the brother won't even tell anybody what he believes. I didn't realize that. So how are we dealing with someone who says they 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 have authority to tell someone what to do? This is no one knows if he even believes in absolute truth, objective morality and uh, any of that. So what, what what's up with that? I'm not afraid to admit what I believe. I don't get that. And you know what's crazy? Solo, you a snake, bro. And I don't know if you was just playing, but you a whole snake, bro. Because you said I can have a show. I talked to you about it earlier. I said I want to set some things straight. You get on here and talk about this brother a snake? You a snake, bro. Straight up. And you know you a snake because you just did some snaky stuff, bro. So don't try to play me. I had this conversation. I said, is it cool? Is it all right? You say, yes, it's cool. Then you get on here and trying to act like you don't know what's going on. You a snake, bro. So you can delete this and you should delete it because I'm going to tell you why. Because you embarrass yourself. And I'm telling you, bro, like you sit up there and play these games, but you snake. You a snake, bro. And I hope you was just playing, bro. Yeah, yeah, in the show, yeah. Yeah, all right. Look at him. Snake. Show, yeah, he's a snake. What you a that? snake, bro. You know you a snake. You know what I'm saying? What was that? That was Solar right there. He told me I can have his show. I talked to him earlier. He gets on here, then he starts snaking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Vocab, say, oh, yeah, he cool. We bring him on. You know what I'm saying? Now you want to start snaking, man? You a snake, bro. Well, G Con, I don't want to, you know, mess. I know you got a good thing with Solar. Hey, man. listen. I ain't, I ain't trying to mess no, it up, listen, man. Bro, listen, there is no good thing. This brother been a snake. I thought maybe he was coming up out of his snakeness, but evidently he not. And if you calling me, you should be calling me apologizing to me instead of dealing uh, uh